Hi folks, as you can see some of our grains are finally ready to be harvested. So this uh, bright yellow stuff here is our, our oats. Got three, harvested three and got three back. Uh, some barley. Let's see how we do on that. Uh, harvested two, got two back. My uh, expert level in, expert proficiency in uh, agriculture doesn't uh, seem to do me a lot of good here. This is wheat that I'm collecting here. Yeah, we just got four for four. At least we're getting lots of, like we got 14 wheat out of those four wheat crops. So I'm not getting a lot of extra seeds, but I'm getting at least good quantities of the grain itself. Okay, and one of the reasons that we're interested in <clears throat> in getting this grain together is because we, uh, we're running low on what we need to feed the sheep. Okay. Let's uh, do the barley. Oh yeah, the time in the previous episode when I tried to feed the sheep and they wouldn't take the food... Um, it wasn't because I was too early, it was because I was trying to feed them rice. And, and according to the wiki, they, uh, they don't like rice. Apparently they're, they're picky. Okay, so we won't feed them rice this time. Give them anything but rice. Even though rice is nice. Okay. Let's get over here and see if we can get some loving going on here. All right, guys. Oh, the other thing is the the wiki also... I was looking at the wiki on the entry for sheep because I was trying to figure out whether they said anything about needing to get them more familiar. And it didn't. It, it said you feed them until they're full and then they'll mate. Okay. So let's try feeding them multiple times. So let's go here once. No. Nope. No. Nope. So the wiki is full of BS on this. Sheep is pregnant. Okay. The other one isn't. Huh. So it couldn't have been pregnant already, like when I picked it up, because I I know I fed, I mean, you guys have seen it if you've watched the previous episodes, I have fed each of them. Yeah, I have fed, fed four at a time, so. So I guess maybe they're just not showing the loving hearts and all that. Maybe that's broken right now. So the last time I fed them, I guess they did mate and this one got pregnant. And the other one is the second pair that I picked up. So it's going to be maybe a day longer before they're ready to be mated. Okay, well, good to know. Um, still don't have any any yellow tops on the jute here, so it's not ready to be harvested. The tomatoes are almost all ready to come in. Is there anything over here that looks good? Nope. So I'll hold off on the tomatoes for now, since I don't have any immediate use for them, so just let them sit in the ground. Well, I guess I could replant them. Oh, the one thing I do want to find out, though, is uh, last episode I talked about how TNG has reverted the behavior on the peppers. So you can pick peppers off the plants without uprooting the entire plant. Well, at one point in time, tomatoes worked the same way. So let's see if they reverted the tomatoes as well. Yep. Okay. Not good to know. Well, that makes tomatoes and the peppers like extra productive because you don't have to wait for the growing, the entire growing season. That's really nice. I just have to find a place for all this. Uh, between episodes, I went and made up a whole bunch more of these vessels. Yeah, that'll do me. Let's put some tomatoes in there and uh, let's keep the grains separate. To 
rescue them their own vessel. Oh, there's some green there. Okay, well, we'll work it out. Yeah, so I made a whole bunch of those. It's really nice now to be able to do those up in the forge because I can do five at a time. As a result, our two uh, former pit kilns over here have been filled in and turned into farmland. Okay, well, I'm going to go hit the sack so that we're not doing things in the middle of the night. Although you'll see, you know, well, you may notice if you were keen eyed from previous episodes, I've thrown a few more torches out here so that we can wander around. It's annoying to have to keep relighting them all the time, but alas. So, see you in the morning. Now that morning is here, we can get on with some gruesome business. Those goats are, well, they gotta go. I need the pen for cows. So, can't be bred. You're gonna be dead. I like how little hearts come up when you do that. I mean, they're black hearts, but still. Must mean they have a love-hate relationship with me. I'm actually... Oops, I didn't eat where I want that. I'm pretty low on water. Better get lubricated here. And eat some of these beans since they're about to wear out, right? Yeah, three more days. Okay, what else we got? We got any uh, fruit coming in? In our berry bushes? Yeah, we got some blueberries. Nothing else, though. Oh, and uh, looks like our other tomato finally came in. Excellent. Excellent, Smithers. Where did I put those? Tomatoes are here. Since they're only a day apart, I don't have... It's okay. I don't have a problem merging them since they're only a day apart. I'm not losing much time on them. And I'm just going to eat the blueberries. I don't think I have enough here to do anything else with, right? What do I have in the way of fruit here? I have a cherry. I have one blueberry, but I need four. Well, okay. All right. Fine. Fine. Let's have a look here. The blueberry has zero days left. Well, I guess I'm going to eat him right away then. Put the other one back in there. All right. Oh, I need my boat. So anyway, so where I'm going to go for the cows, same reason as reasoning as with the, uh, oh, we should get the animal map up. Here it is. Same reasoning as with the sheep is I don't want, no, well, it doesn't look like I've got any marked anyways. I didn't want any cows uh, on my my little island here, my starter island, because they'd be too old now. And uh, so the, these cows are less than a year old, or at least I've, they spawned in within the last year. So hopefully they're still young enough to be bred and milked. So I'll come down here and grab uh, a couple of cows and bring them back. And that's territory we've already covered. So um, unless something exciting happens, I'll bring you back in when I'm done. When I got the cows back here. See you then. So I came over here to get my uh, cow. You can see one there and there and one down there. I think there's a fourth one around somewhere. And what should I also find? There's uh, some jute, some more jute over here that's uh, ready to be harvested. Well, that's lovely. So that's a bonus. Not all of it is. That one isn't really in it. Still. Go. 
cool all right so i've got two leads and i want a female and a male all right this female has this has an other so it's a female there we go i guess i should bring her down here so that she doesn't fall and kill herself the cows are brighter than the sheep, but not by a huge margin. Yeah, she has tiny horns. That's the other indicator of the female of the species. Okay. Ew. Are those bigger horns? So your horns aren't angled at all, yeah. So his horns are angled. <laughs> so let's come out here in the light and double check. Yeah, you don't have another. Great. All right. So I got my two cows. Now to just row, row, row my boat back home. <laughs> Without sending them to their deaths along the way. Okay, I'll meet you back at the old homestead. Ah, uh, folks, so this is the authentic genuine TFC experience sailing slowly backwards in a boat in the rain at night dragging two waterlogged cows behind you it just doesn't get any better than this ah, just about there at least the rain has stopped Get these two in here. Boom, boom. Get my leads back. Um, there's the other one. Okay. Run over here and take up the cattle ramp. And head back to the house and get some feed for them. See, our lemons have come in as well. We'll have to do something with them. Oh, and the uh, and the jute has, or homegrown jute has matured. So much happening. It's all coming together. It's all coming up Mulhouse. All right. Um, well, well, I want grain. Six wheat grain. That should do all. All everyone we have. So we'll see if this is enough to get that second sheep pregnant. Second ewe. Ew. All right, let's do the boys first. Hmm. All right, the other one is still, still isn't pregnant yet. Okay. But let's do these two cows as well. There we go. And they're on their way. So here's the uh, jute that I picked up while I was out in the boat. And so the nice thing, this jute ripening here shows that we do have plenty of season here to grow jute. I have had it in TFC where I've been too far north and it got too cold. Like like the it got the, the jute is fairly temperature sensitive. It doesn't like the cold. And so I've been places where I was far enough north that the jute couldn't quite mature before it got too cold for it. Well that looks like we've got some berries here too. So 
blackberries and raspberries. Definitely raspberries. Do we have blackberries? Nope. Going late with my torches again. I'll deal with the lemons in a bit. So let's take all this jute. Get it processed. 22 jute. That's going to be enough to make our traveling bed. I'm sure of it. All right. These beans are just about ready to go, I think. One more day on them. And I finally figured out how I can drink... Uh, don't want to do that. How I can drink from a uh, water jug while I'm in the boat without g getting it filled up with uh, <laughs> with salt water. I can look up in the sky while I drink. <laughs> like that. Excellent. All right, what else do we do? I'm not going to replant the jute now because there's definitely not enough season left for it now. Um, hmm. So what do you think, guys? Do you think this is a ripe uh, beet yet? Shall we try it? All right, let's try it. Yes, okay, that one was ripe. This one looks about the same. It was also ripe. This one... I don't know, that one doesn't look... That one doesn't look quite right to me. Yeah, I don't think that was as tall as the others. Collected up our jute. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing is to come and get these... To, these lemons. Lemon tree, very pretty. Uh, especially when it's full of lemons. Okay. Didn't get that guy yet. And then there's probably one on top. Don't know if I can get him by jumping. Oh, I'm too far away. Sometimes you can reach up through the holes if you get the angle just right and get that top one. But nope. Okay, guess I shouldn't have thrown that dirt away. Oh, I can use. Oh, <laughs> I can use my crafting table to get it. There we go. What does that give us? Ten lemons. Let's go inside. Step into my humble abode for a moment. Okay. We now have vodka. So the potatoes we put in here did turn into vodka. The sugar we put in here did turn into rum. And we have vinegar from before. And then fresh water. Now... So this is where I want to make it into vinegar, right? Oh, I'm going to unseal it first. Well, it's not telling me. Ah, yeah, that's how it turns into vinegar. Okay. Um, so it's supposed to be four pieces of fruit. Well, let's throw 10 in and see how much. So we've got 4,000 millibuckets of vodka. That should require 16 fruit, I think. If I've remembered, all, gotten all the calculations. And we only have 10. So we'll see what that gives us in terms of, uh, of vinegar. That will be in another episode, though. Oh, 
Got another uh, lemon. Actually, maybe I should, yeah, actually, I should probably wait a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that instead. Let's wait a couple of days because the let the the fruit trees produce for you know repeatedly over the course of several days. So let's not uh, risk getting a less full barrel of vinegar than we need to. Right. That's for green. You can be our fruit. 31 days on the beets. Actually, you can take the beets. Actually, maybe rather than starting something else up, I'll uh, I'll just skip ahead till tomorrow, and we can then uh, feed the animals again, and uh, maybe get our jute and process that. Um, I did uh, go back and take a quick look at the video um, from when I was harvesting these beets. And this one does look to be as mature as the other two were, so let's give it a try. Yep, it is. Okay. But this one definitely isn't. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, we're getting there. There's only a couple hours left in the day. Anyway, I'll uh, just kind of bop around until I can hit the sack, and I'll bring you back in tomorrow morning when we can start processing the jute. See you then. Okay, well, it's a brand new day here. Had to reboot the system because OBS was uh, was giving me problems. That's the uh, package I used to record the video, the game video. All right, let's see how our uh, jute is doing. So we have the fiber. Good stuff. So now we should be able to make... their uh, remaining two burlap cloth, and then we'll see if we can make a travel bed out of burlap. Ah, uh, yeah, need a couple more from here. It's a bunch of stuff like this where uh, it would be nice I guess if you could have it as an option where once you'd done the long version of it once, you didn't have to sit through it again. So after, you know, you've sat through the entire animation of the weaving of the loom once, then the next time you just cut the cloth right away. Same with the, uh, with the grindstone is that, you know, one, or the quern is that, you know, once you've sat through the animation once, then it'll just work automatically because that's part of what makes uh you know can make tfc tedious is these things where you have to sit there and wait for them especially when you're trying to produce large quantities of stuff okay so let's grab our other cloth or other burlap here and we need three boards let's see if this works no oh it doesn't work so you can't create a bed out of burlap cloth. Well, I wonder what I can do with this burlap cloth now that I have it. Yeah, I can't take it apart, eh? Oh, so now I have a bunch of burlap cloth. Ah, would have been better put to use to make more leads, but, uh, you know, I wanted to find out if I could do it that way. So, before I can make a traveling bed, I'm going to have to wait until the sheep are ready to be sheared again. Speaking of the sheep, let's go feed our animacules. Uh, we've got plenty of grain there for the, a lot of them. Well, actually, I know I, I know I need six, so... Oh, for Pete's sake. This is another thing I wish that they would fix. <sighs> I 
There. Is that you can't get the uh, the greens, the just foods in general. It's it's hard to get them to stack up. I think it needs they need to have a little bit more of. A, oh, oh, I should go get my shears. The sheep have got wool again. I think they need to have a little bit of a uh, like a grace period. on the timing uh, for the food decaying so that if there's just like a couple of milliseconds between them uh, mm. they still they can still count at the same time all right Let's see how you guys do all right and now yeah, so the other one isn't still isn't pregnant yet oh yeah let's get uh, Grab all your uh, fleece. Thank you very kindly. And now we'll go feed our cows. No. There you go. Alright, let's, uh, okay. Let's take a gamble on these guys. So what we got here, we've got the yellow goes up one, two, three, four layers. And in the top layer, there's just two of them. Do any of the others look differently? One, two, one, two, three, four, five layers here. Did I miscount here? I probably did. One, two, three, four, yeah, five layers, okay. All right, so let's try taking this guy up and see what happens. Nope, still seed. So that's still not ready for the squash. Don't know what it takes, but it takes more than that. And my final carrot is ready here. Okay, um, well now that I have the wool, that was handy, so I can... Uh, well, actually I could have done it with wool anyway. I already had the yarn necessary. Okay. Oh, no, no. I only had enough yarn for two sheets. So I do still need to spin this. Where is my spindle? There it is. All right. Now we've got plenty. So I will probably uh, time lapse this for you since you won't want to sit through it yet again. And that was our third one. Uh, so let's grab our three. Oh, we already have the boards. Okay. And now we have a second bed to carry around with us when we're traveling. Any more lemons come in on the lemon tree? Don't see any. And none of our other fruit trees are... Uh, Gracing us. I don't have olive, eh? Olive would be nice to have. Oh well, eventually I'll run into one. And the last thing to check here is to see whether we've got our... Oh no, I didn't put the... Uh, that's right, I didn't haven't put the lemons in yet because I'm waiting for more of them to come in. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be it. Yeah, got two more blackberries. Next episode, we will continue with trying to get all of our animals bred up and try and uh, make more vinegar so that we can make some brine so we can finally preserve some of this fruit, uh, not fruit, some of this food that, we're, uh, that we've been harvesting. And then we can start uh, thinking about moving up the tech chain on metals again. So, so I hope to see you back for that. 
I hope you had a good time. Bye.